Hi folks, Mike the Car Guy here with a few thoughts about rising interest rates. This morning I got up and I started surfing the automotive news like I do every morning looking for things that are interesting, new, or fascinating to me. And an article from uh, Bloomberg jumped out and I clicked over and read it. And what it was talking about is uh, the rise in interest rates. Last year the Federal Reserve uh, raised interest rates three times and they're projected to do it three more times this year. And uh, the article specifically cited Subaru Motors because they've been the only uh, maker in the United States that's continued to improve sales year after year for 10 years, a full decade of increased sales. And one of the reasons they cite as the biggest uh, drivers is their ability to maintain low interest rates. And if those rates start to increase, they're seeing a potential pullback in overall sales. And rather than, than get into the doom and gloom, because that's not what this is about, uh, there's there's going to be cars that are still sold regardless of the interest rate. You know, over the last 30 years I've been in car sales, I've actually been in times where people were hugging me because I was able to show them 11.75 as an interest rate, and they thought that was phenomenal. There are going to be car sales no matter what the interest rates, no matter what the rebates are, no matter what the incentives are. Uh, I have shown dozens and dozens of salespeople over my career as they're new and coming into the business and they get into a slump or there's a, a tight economy or sales start to slow down and they get nervous. I've given them some some advice that was given to me very early on and that is to just, when you start feeling weak, you start feeling unsure, like maybe the car sales isn't going to be the right thing, it's going to slow down, maybe you should get into construction or look for the opening in that truck driving school, simply go to the freeway. Go to any freeway close to you and sit and watch those cars driving by. And after about 10, 15 minutes, think to yourself, what is the one thing that each one of those cars has in common? And before you say all of them have wheels and tires or an engine or a windshield, the one thing that they all share in common that relates to us in the car sales industry is that right now, this very second, each one of those cars driving down the freeway is wearing out. There's never going to be a time when the market is saturated, everyone has a brand new car and there's not going to be a need for new cars. To take it even further, some of those cars by the end of the day will be involved in, in accidents, unfortunately. Someone driving down that freeway right now is going to get a call from their wife saying, hey, we're pregnant, we're going to have a baby, we can't have that two-door coupe anymore, we need a four-door or we need an SUV or we have another truck. There's just always going to be a reason for car sales, regardless of the interest rate. A good friend of mine, Terry Lancaster, contributed to a book uh, on business strategies called Unstuck. Very good book. I recommend it highly. But one of the things he said in that book is that there's basically two ways that you can meet your customers these days. You can wait for them at the finish line after they've done the research and shopped around and figured out exactly what they want. And then basically the only way you're going to gain their business is with a deeply discounted price or a special rebate or something like that. Or you can meet them at the starting line, help educate them, become their friend, establish trust early on in their shopping process, and be there when they're ready. And that's social selling. These days, customers have access to more information than ever, but what they need is confirmation that the decision they're making is the right one and they're looking for the right place to do business. Rather, or either as a salesperson, working your social shilling circle and, and establishing yourself as an authority and building trust, even as a dealership. Dealerships can be out there right now building their social media presence and establishing that they are the ones that are different than the rest of the pack. They're the ones that deserve it and earn your business and separate themselves. If it was easy, everyone would do it. Everyone would be a superstar and every dealer should be in the, the top five. It's not easy. I'm not saying it, it's going to be a cakewalk. But the dealerships that embrace social, the salespeople that embrace social are going to be the ones that make it through whatever hard times are coming. So rather than get dejected, get excited. Get to work on building yourself and establishing yourself as the reason to buy. Instead of saying, why buy? Show them why buy. You can't say it. You got to show them. And the way to do that is with social. It's just my thoughts for the day. Hope you're having a great Valentine's Day. Uh, talk to you soon.